<laughs> Return of the Black Death. Coming soon. Don't worry, Kitty. This is just a movie. But do you know what should not return at all? The real Black Death. Real Black Death? Yes, little Kitty. Black Death is one of the most fatal pandemics recorded in human history. So in today's episode, let us travel back in time to explore the deadly question. What caused the Black Death. Zoom in! A long time ago, in October of 1346, few ships arrived at the Sicilian port. And when the locals rushed to welcome the coming guests, they were shocked by the horrific sight. Almost all travelers were either dead or about to. Their bodies were engulfed in black patches and boils full of pus and blood. This was the arrival of the Black Death in Europe, a type of plague that came all the way from China. Soon, this disease spread like wildfire and even a slight touch from an infected person was enough to pass the sickness to others. Those struck by it would witness swelling at the lymph nodes located at the armpits and the groin region. Then, in no time, these lumps would turn into large blackish boils full of pus and blood, which would grow as big as the size of a guava. And if that weren't enough, the victim would suffer from fever, chills, pain and diarrhea, after which a possible death was inevitable. But what made the Black Death so dangerous is that nobody knew what was causing it and why. This lack of information gave rise to various rumors and superstitions, as some people believed that it was the spirit of the deceased possessing others that infected them, whereas many thought that it was a punishment from the higher powers. And by the time it ran its course, the Black Death wiped out nearly 50% of Europe's population and took around 75 million lives in Asia. Everyone thought that this was the end of the world. But it was in the year 1894 with the advancement in microscopic technology we found out that the real culprit was a tiny bacterium called Yersinia pestis, carried by fleas residing in wild rats. Yes, when rodents die from the plague, fleas jump to a new host, biting them and transmitting Yersinia pestis. And once this bacteria enters the victim's bloodstream, it attacks the host's immune system by injecting toxins into defense cells, such as macrophages, that have the responsibility to detect bacterial infections. Once these cells are knocked out, the bacteria can multiply as much as it wants. But more recent studies show that the reason behind so many fatalities might not be the bacteria but the hosts. Yes, during the 14th century, due to the high fertility rate and lack of food supply, most Europeans suffered from malnutrition and poor health. This lack of nutrition made them vulnerable to many diseases, adding to the fatality rate caused by the Black Death. But fortunately, this pandemic taught us the importance of eating healthy and keeping our environment clean, which ultimately helps us to save ourselves from other diseases. Trivia time! Did you know plague still exists in various parts of the world? Yes, but today 
Most people survive plague with rapid diagnosis and antibiotic treatment. And if you want to know the marvel of antibiotics, do check our video, How Antibiotics Work. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.